was going to go easy on you, not to hurt your feelings. But I'm only going to get this one yet. My name is Jacoby Bruce. I'm with Joplin Franklin Wing Technology Center. I'm here to teach about the push-pull method. To start off, we'll need four main components. We'll need the unit, we'll need a recovery tank, we'll need a side glass, and we'll need the recovery machine. As you can see, we have it already pre-hooked up. Now, the reasons we would use this method rather than just regular vapor recovery is because if, it, if the unit has more than 10 pounds of pressure, and it would be more fast to do this method because it's pulling straight liquid to the tank and putting the vapors back in. Afterwards, you would also do a vapor recovery to get everything out. Um, the reason you would not use this is if the unit has an accumulator or if the unit has less than 10 pounds of Freon. Now, as you can see, it's hooked up. The liquid side's going into the recovery tank. But right before the recovery tank right here, there is a side glass. And then coming out of the recovery tank, it's going into the suction side of the recovery machine and out of the discharge back into the unit. As it's coming out, it's going out as a liquid into the recovery tank. And we will watch it until it is no more liquids going into the recovery tank. Then we will close the high pressure side and we'll then let it run until the recovery complete light here comes on. When the recovery complete light comes on, we'll turn the machine off, we'll turn it to purge, turn it back on, and we'll let it run again until it has, until the recovery light comes back on. When the recovery light comes back on, we'll close the suction side, and then we'll proceed to vapor recovery. My name is Jacoby Bruce with Joplin Franklin Technology Center, and this is the push-pull method. I have